Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Black Ember Citadel R2, which is some really sleek, durable, and highly weather resistant everyday carry bags. I've been testing these out for the past couple of weeks, and so far it's been a really great experience. As you can see, we have two versions of the bag here. They sell it in a minimal style that's going to be just kind of more your standard and sleek everyday carry bag. And then they also have a modular version that has a bunch of different accessories that allow you to configure the bag to suit your particular needs. So both are really great options. They have a great build quality. They've been super comfortable to wear, and I'm just really excited to share them with you guys. So I want to thank the company for sending the bag for me to test out. And with all that being said, let's Let's go ahead and jump in. Starting out with the outside of the bags, both the modular and minimal version of the Citadel have a very kind of modern and techy aesthetic. They're really sleek. They feel like they're gonna fit in well into a variety of environments, whether you're walking around the city or even taking this into an office. And so starting off, taking a little bit of a closer look at the minimal version, to me, this is definitely the style that appeals to a little bit more. I just like how kind of plain it is on the outside, very much in line with the name. It doesn't really have a whole lot going on along the front, just a few zippers and then this version of the bag comes with this kind of orange accenting on these compression straps, but they do offer them in a black coloring to just keep a very simple and clean look. And then moving into the modular version, this is definitely a much more technical looking pack. You definitely have a lot of different points where you can attach the various accessories that Black Amber makes for the bag. So you just have a lot more going on with these little kind of magnetic attachment points. You have a lot of loops along the front. I currently have two of the accessory pouches that Black Amber sells, and we'll dive into those a little bit later in the video, but you can configure how the aesthetic of the bag looks depending on how many pouches you place or where you actually end up placing them. So I've experimented with them in a few different configurations but it always just kind of feels a little bit strange to me to have some of these attachment points just kind of out in the open. I just wish that there was some way to maybe remove them if you didn't want to attach anything to just give the front of this bag a more clean aesthetic even though it is the modular version. And then continuing on with the materials, the bag is made out of a really durable 800D three layer micro hex weather resistant material that feels like it's gonna keep all of your stuff protected even if you get caught in a heavier rainstorm. On top of that, the bag also has aqua guarded YKK zippers all throughout. And then it even has these bonded seams that just help add that extra bit of water resistance. And this is definitely one of the most water resistant bags that I've tested out. It makes me feel even more protected than a lot of the bags that come with rain covers. Adding to the premium feel of the bag, you also have some very nice anodized aluminum hardware for the handles. And then I really love the use of Hypalon for the zipper pulls and all the other areas of the bag to just give a very premium feel all throughout. And then at the top of the bag, both have a very comfortable and durable feeling top handle. This has this kind of cushiony material and it just feels like it's gonna hold up even if you have the bag a little bit more packed out. And then you also have the ability to add a side handle to both versions of the bag. Currently I have a handle attached to the minimal version of the bag and I really like that because it has these G hooks here, it's very easy to take this off and switch it to the other side depending on how you like to carry it. And then one thing that I'll note about both versions of the bag, which I was a little bit sad to see, is that there is no included external water bottle pocket. Black Amber does sell a few different kind of accessories and straps that you can use to attach a water bottle to the outside if you prefer. For now, what I've gone ahead and done is just attached an S carabiner clip that I use to hold my water bottle so I don't have to place it on the inside. This isn't an ideal solution as it just kind of flops around, but I do understand that it just keeps a more minimal look for the bag. And then the fact that you have these attachment points on the outside do give you the option to add something if you prefer. And then as I showed a little bit earlier, you also have the ability to add compression straps to the bottom of the bag. On the minimal version, I currently have these orange straps and I really like the implementation here. I like that they have these clips that you can fully remove to make them very easy to add something thicker like a tripod or maybe a yoga mat and then you can just attach this and adjust them very easily and then it's nice that you can actually just kind of take these off if you want to use a different color and then here on the modular version i don't currently have the straps but you can see that it has the same attachment points to do so if you like to use those and then jumping into the capacity, the Citadel comes in at about 25 liters, which is just a really great kind of all-purpose size. I love this size of bag for day-to-day -day carry and for minimal travel. I was easily able to fit all the items that I normally like to carry with me, and it didn't really feel like the bag was super packed out. On top of that, I also really like that the bag maintains a very slim silhouette, even though it's a little bit larger to make it very easy to navigate crowded areas or jump onto public transit. 
And then moving into the straps and the back paneling, both versions of the bag have a very similar layout here. They've been very comfortable to wear. I really like how the straps have been implemented. They're really soft and well padded right out of the box. On the inside, they have this meshy material to help prevent moisture from building up. And then I also really like that they have a nice width to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders, even when you're carrying it with a lot of weight. At the top, you have these kind of Velcro load lifter straps to allow you to configure how the bag sits on your shoulders just a little bit more. And then you also have an adjustable and removable sternum strap to help distribute the weight. I really like that the sternum strap here has this magnetic buckle to make it very quick to get this on and off. Taking a look at the bottom of the straps, I really like the system used here. It keeps everything very well managed. It's easy to adjust how the straps actually sit on your shoulders, but then it also has this plastic keeper here that kind of prevents anything from flopping around and just keeps a really nice, clean look for the bag. And then if you want to put the straps away to carry this like a briefcase, it also has these plastic clips on the bottom that are very easy to get on and off. And then you can tuck the strap away in this little sleeve at the top to just give a cleaner overall look, particularly when you want to carry this like a briefcase. One last thing here on the bottom of the straps, you also have this little area here where you have some straps that tuck away that might pair with the waist belt. There's no waist belt actually included with the bag, but it's nice that you have the ability to add one if you wanna just have a little bit of additional support, especially when you have a lot of stuff in the bag. And then as far as the back paneling, this has also felt really comfortable. It has this very nice EVA foam here that just feels great on the back. And it also has a nice amount of elevation to create this air channel to help with airflow while you're walking around throughout the day. One thing about this material here is that I really would have liked to have seen the same mesh that we saw on the straps, but this has still felt really soft. And even though it gets a little bit sweatier, overall the bag has just felt really comfortable even as I've been wearing it for a longer period of time. And then one last thing while we're on the back is that there's this hidden zipper compartment here that's gonna be great for storing anything more sensitive that you need to carry with you. And then at the top, I really like that it has this Velcro closure here to help add some additional protection to this zipper. And this comes all the way down. There's a really nice amount of space here. So what I currently have here is just my Field Notes notebook. And this would be a great spot to put something like a passport, some cash, or maybe a thinner wallet. But given how large the compartment is here, I wouldn't be surprised if you could store a folder with some more sensitive documents if you happen to be feeling like a secret agent. And then jumping into the organizational options, this is really where you see a big difference between the two bags. For the minimal version, which we're gonna take a look at first, you just have one simple quick access external pocket. And this has a nice, very well protected zipper as we saw earlier, and it also has this great zipper garage. A really nice thing about this zipper garage here is you can actually thread this Hypalon loop through to just give it that extra bit of security to prevent a pickpocket from getting in too easily. And so opening this compartment up, it has a nice amount of space. It actually has a little bit more capacity than I would have anticipated just given how slim the bag is. So it comes up enough to allow you to store some larger items. And so jumping into what I currently have here, first up I have my Ray-Ban sunglasses with their case. And then on the inside, you have two additional slip pockets that can be a little bit hard to see. Hopefully that gives you a clearer view. And in this one here, I just currently have a simple lightning cable to charge my phone. And then in the compartment next to that, I just have a few smaller accessories, which are just a simple stylus and then a nail clipper that I normally like to carry with me. And then besides that, just a very simple layout in this compartment. One thing that I thought was really interesting is that this area here is actually just open space. So you, if you have something a little bit taller, you should be able to store it. And then the last thing that I'll mention in this compartment is that you also have a lanyard with a clip where you're gonna be able to attach some of your keys or maybe something like a multi-tool. And I really like the implementation here just because it has this magnetic clip here that allows you to detach it to be able to get to it very quickly. And then one thing that I forgot to mention earlier is that since the bag has a pretty rigid shape, it actually manages to stand up very well on its own, as you can see here. And this isn't something that's super common in a lot of bags, so if that's something that's important to you, then that's gonna make this bag even more appealing. And then jumping over to the modular version of the bag, you definitely have a lot more flexibility as far as external organization. And so I really like the accessories that Black Ember has created and the system for attaching those accessories. It's comprised of kind of a two point attachment system that has a plastic clip and then a magnetic attachment. And this feels very secure. It's very easy to get the bag on and off the bag with the magnetic attachment. And it just feels extra secure because of this hook that's added here. And then the accessories themselves can be configured in a variety of ways. You can move them up, you can place them on the side of the bag. And then I just currently have two accessories here, but I know that Black Amber has a few additional ones that you can attach They have a few straps. And so jumping into the ones that I have, one of them is just kind of a more tech and admin organizational pouch. And it has this magnetic buckle here that makes it very easy to open up. And then you just have a few small slots on the flap for anything smaller that you need to carry with you. 
on the inside you have one slip pocket and then you have a very nicely sealed zipper here that's going to help add a nice amount of water resistance and then the compartment opens up fully flat and it just has a variety of slip pockets for organizing anything smaller that you need to get to a little bit more quickly throughout the day so this is going to be a great spot for putting maybe some of your cables dongles or maybe a mouse or portable hard drive so just really like the overall layout here and then moving into the other one that i have this is just kind of a larger compartment that's going to be great for holding something like your cell phone or maybe a large portable battery or a point and shoot camera you just have a lot of volume in this kind of simple compartment and then you have a smaller slip pocket on the front and then two smaller pockets on the sides are so just tons of different organizational options you don't have to use all the pockets you have a lot of flexibility with what you can do with all these compartments and then again it's just really nice that you can actually configure them or just remove them in any way that just kind of suits your normal day-to-day -day needs the last area that we're going to take a look at is the main compartment but before jumping into that I did want to point out that it has this external access zipper that reaches down directly into the laptop compartment which is a really nice feature to have because the main area has a clamshell style opening it can be a little bit cumbersome to get inside when you just want to grab something quickly it's really nice to have this quick access area at the top to make grabbing your laptop just a little bit more of a smoother process. And so opening up this main area a little bit more, I'm actually a really big fan of the clamshell style opening. It just makes it very easy to just kind of organize and see everything that's in your bag at the same time. And so the layout for the inside of the bags is pretty much the same for both the modular and minimal version. So I'm just gonna walk through the minimal version here. And as you can see, plenty of space for all the items that I normally like to carry with me. Even with some of these larger items you see at the top, there's still a little bit of leftover capacity. So I really like the flexibility that that 25 liters offers. And so jumping in, the first thing that I have in here are my Beat Studio wireless headphones. And then next up, I just have a small Maxpedition pouch with some of my smaller EDC items. And then I also have my Bellroy Classic pouch that has some of my smaller tech accessories that I don't want kind of floating around. And then behind that, the bag includes this rigid divider to help add some separation to the main area. You can also use this to compress items down to prevent them from moving around or to just give yourself a little bit more space within the bag. I really like that it has this magnetic buckle here to make it very easy to get this on and off. And then you can actually fully remove this using these Velcro straps at the bottom if you choose not to use it. And then a nice kind of bonus feature on this divider is that it actually has this sleeve that will be great for holding something like a tablet. It actually has a nice amount of padding and it's fairly rigid, so this is going to be a great spot for keeping an item like that protected. What I currently had in here was my iPad mini, but I could definitely see myself easily fitting a full size 10 inch tablet. Behind the divider, the only thing that I had here is my Levitate portable standing desk. And then on the back of this compartment, you have a few slip pockets and zippered pockets for some additional organization. I really like how many different options are provided all throughout the bag. And so at the bottom, you have this mesh zippered compartment that actually has a pretty decent amount of volume for any cables or chargers that you might want to hold. I chose to leave this emptier as I had all of my stuff in other compartments throughout the bag. And then at the top, you have a few smaller slip pockets that have a nice amount of volume and space. This this one I actually chose to leave empty as well just because I don't have enough accessories to kind of fill everything out. And you have this Velcro strap here, which I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of this strap is. It doesn't really add much to these slip pockets here. It doesn't really help keep any of those items in place. So I don't know if maybe you can use this to attach a pair of headphones or something like that. And then on the compartment next to that, the only thing that I currently have is just a simple deck of playing cards. And then the last thing on this back of the compartment that I wanted to talk about is the laptop area. And I really like the way the sleeve has been implemented here. It has a nice amount of padding. On the inside, it has this soft fleece lining to help keep your device protected from scratching. As we saw earlier, you can easily access it from this zipper at the top. And so it just has a nice amount of space for up to a 15 inch laptop. Currently what I have in here is my 13 inch MacBook Pro and that fits in there really comfortably. And then a really nice thing about the compartment is that it's actually suspended off the bottom of the ground and off the side. So it really feels like it's gonna help keep your device protected even if you happen to place the bag down a little little bit harder and so pulling my laptop out now with the compartment empty you can get a better look at the inside and I really would have liked to have seen this soft fleece lining on the back but it still offers a nice amount of padding and then the compartment comes up a nice amount if you happen to have a thicker device so just a really great implementation here it definitely feels like my device is going to be very safe while I'm running around throughout the day and then moving on to the flap of this main compartment, you have some more nice organizational options here. Before jumping into that, one thing I forgot to mention earlier is I really like this bright lining that's used on the inside to make it easy to see everything that you have. And this is made out of a 200D nylon, which feels very durable. And so jumping in, you have another mesh zippered pocket here that has a nice amount of volume for holding items that are a little bit bulkier. Currently what I have in here is just my USB-C hub 
and its cable, and this is what I normally use to charge my MacBook Pro and some of my other tech accessories. And then moving up along the top, you have two larger slip pockets here on this one to the far right. I just have my Blue Pop portable Bluetooth speaker and power bank. As you can see, plenty of volume here for anything larger that you need to have with you. And then next to that, I just have my Apple Magic Mouse. And then the last thing here is this really deep slip pocket that's gonna be great for holding something like a document or a folder. The only thing that I currently have in here, however, is just a full-size moleskin notebook. And so now with this main area, given that this is a little bit of a larger bag at that 25 liters of capacity, I wanted to see how this would work for minimal travel. So what I wanted to do was toss in my larger double-sided and compressible packing cube, and that fits in there really easily. As you can see, there's some leftover space here at the top, so I could toss in something like my air dot kit, and that would still fit in there really comfortably. I could close this up with the divider if I wanted to compress the bag down to just kind of keep everything in place and give myself a little bit more space. And then the bag actually closes very easily. There's still some leftover volume here, so it doesn't really feel like everything is super packed out. I could definitely toss in maybe an additional pair of shoes, and then I would easily be able to use this for a long weekend trip or for a week of traveling, depending on how minimally I was packing. So just really love the versatility of this size and the clamshell style opening. And in general, both the minimal and modular versions of the bag have been phenomenal to use. They offer a great build quality, a ton of interesting organizational options, and just a really impressive amount of weather resistance. So if you're looking for a durable and comfortable bag that you're gonna be able to use in pretty much any environment, and it's gonna keep everything inside very well protected, then this is gonna be a great option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a really great experience testing out the Black Ember Citadel R2 over the past couple of weeks. The bags have been really comfortable to wear, they have fantastic build qualities and weather resistance, a really nice organizational layout, and I just like their overall aesthetic. And so you can currently purchase these on Black Ember's site, starting at around $225 for the minimal version of the bag. And then the modular version is gonna start at around 255 and then that will go up depending on the number of accessories that you wanna add for this. So the bags are definitely a bit of an investment, but you are getting a lot of features and a really great build quality for your money. And these also compare well to other similar bags in this price range. And so as I was testing this out, one of the first bags that this made me think of was the Air Tech Pack 2, which we looked at pretty recently. And that's just a really solid and sleek everyday carry bag. It has a nice amount of capacity, some great organizational options. It doesn't offer quite as good a water resistance as this, but it's still really weather resistant. And it's just a super comfortable bag to wear. It also comes in at around $210. So if you're looking for something that's gonna be a little bit smaller than this, but still offer plenty of space and durability, then that's gonna be a good option to check out. The next bag this made me think of was the Tortuga Set Out Laptop Backpack, which is one of my favorite kind of all-purpose bags. It works great as a minimal travel bag or an everyday carry bag. It has a nice organizational layout, a really solid build quality, and one of the more comfortable harness systems that I've tested out. That bag also comes in at around $125, and so it's not gonna be quite as weather resistant as this, but if you're looking for something with a little bit of a lower price range that's still gonna be super versatile, then that's gonna be one of the best options to check out. The next bag this made me think of is the Boundary Supply Errant Pack, which is a really great tech and everyday bag. It has a fantastic build quality. It's really comfortable to wear. It has a very interesting organizational layout. And like this bag, it also has a really interesting ecosystem of accessories that allow you to kind of use modular principles to make it very easy to configure the bag to meet your needs. That is also gonna come in at a slightly lower price range. So if you have a little bit of a tighter budget, but you still want a solid kind of all-purpose bag, then that's gonna be a good option to check out. And then the last option that I'll mention here is the Oppose This Invisible Carry-On, which has been one of my favorite minimal travel and everyday carry bags. It just has a really sleek and minimal look. It definitely reminds me a lot of the aesthetic of these bags, and it's just really comfortable. It has a very nice organizational layout. It's a little bit more simplistic than this, and it's also gonna work very well for traveling due to its suitcase style opening. It just is able to hold a ton of stuff, and it's not gonna have quite the same weather resistance as this, but it does come in at a similar price point, and it has a phenomenal build quality and it's just going to be able to hold a little bit more so if you're looking for a sleek bag with this sort of aesthetic that's a little bit more travel focused then that's going to be another fantastic option to check out with that being said both versions of the citadel r2 holds up really well against all those bags and if you're looking for bags that are going to offer a fantastic amount of weather resistance with a solid build quality and tons of great organizational options then these are going to be a great option to check out and I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys think of the Citadel R2 and which version of the bag you prefer. And if there are any similar options that you think I should feature on the channel, as always, please let me know in the comments. 
And I want to thank the company again for sending the bag for me to test out. And if you guys found this video useful, please give us a like. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.